With the Oklahoma Sooners spring camp underway, there are some new names that are making major splashes for the Sooners and a few guys that I actually think could be household names come this coming up college football season and we have got to talk about them. But before we do, as always, y'all know the drill. I want to hear from y'all because there are a few guys that if you ask me the question, what new guy for Oklahoma am I looking forward to most, they could easily crack this answer. So because of that, I want to hear from y'all. Which new face for the Oklahoma Oklahoma Sooners are y'all most excited about seeing comment down below let me know what y'all are thinking there and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification because I do constant college football content player reviews film analysis talk style videos like this and I'm on my push to 5,000 subscribers in my first year and I would love to have you along for the journey because I have some really cool things planned for the channel and you do not want to miss it but with all that being said and out the way let's talk about new faces for the Oklahoma Sooners that are impressing and the first guy I want to talk about is a guy who, even though he is impressing greatly, he probably won't be a starter this year, and that's Caleb Williams. And I say probably because if everything goes according to plan, Spencer Rattler is the guy barring injury. However, Oklahoma fans have got to be excited that the five-star quarterback they just pulled in is apparently, according to Brandon Drum on an article on 24-7 Sports, a fantastic look at how the Sooners are doing they think he is much further ahead than they originally anticipated for where he is based on spring camp. And they think that come fall camp, he will be much further ahead than they had originally planned him being for that same period in time. This is awesome because this was a guy who had shown all the ability in the world in high school, but just needed to put it together on a more consistent basis. Caleb Williams is a guy that has every tool necessary to be an elite quarterback. It's just about development, right? He was a very, very athletic guy, very talented. And now when you put him with Lincoln Riley, you have got to be just over the moon excited about his prospect. Remember, I made a video on Caleb Williams long ago before he had committed to Oklahoma saying that I think Oklahoma was the best place for him because how naturally athletic he was, how raw he was. I thought that you could take him, put him with Lincoln Riley. Lincoln Riley would develop him and you would have something scary and dangerous at the quarterback position. And from all we are hearing, that is the future at Oklahoma. And we're hearing that even aside from him making plays day in and day out, apparently he's one of the three guys you always hear about. He's a guy that is mentally way further ahead than they expected. Very businesslike, very mature. And it's really awesome to hear for a freshman. He's a guy who's coming in with an incredible work ethic, and I cannot wait. It just makes me even more excited to see the spring game for Oklahoma and to see Caleb Williams whenever he does get his opportunity to come in and play. I'm going to be very excited to see him. But now let's talk about some guys that will be featured in the Oklahoma offense to a much more intensive degree. First and foremost, I want to talk about Eric Gray. Maybe not a new face to college football, but a new face to the Oklahoma Sooners. And this is a guy who I made a video about when he ended up going to Oklahoma. And I kept saying, Oklahoma fans, y'all just got something special. Trust me, as an Alabama Crimson Tide fan, I've watched this guy. You know, as an Alabama fan and as a college football fan, I try and watch every college football game I can actively watch, even on Sundays. My whole Sunday is spent watching college football games along with the NFL games when it's in season, and I've watched every Tennessee game. This is a guy who is incredibly special, incredibly talented, and when you heard him talk, he said that as soon as he put his name into the transfer portal, he knew Oklahoma was where he wanted to go because of the scheme fit. And when you listen to DeMarco Murray talk, which first and foremost, Oklahoma fans, I love the hire of DeMarco Murray. I think it's awesome. As an Alabama fan, I'm actually really hoping that whenever Mark Ingram chooses to retire, we bring him on staff much like y'all did with DeMarco Murray because I think it's really cool. They were vets in the NFL that were well-respected guys. The younger guys loved them and they they were teaching as they were in their vet stages. That's just a personal note. But back, back to Eric Gray. DeMarco Murray had a really interesting presser where he kept using the word versatility. He was looking for versatility in the Oklahoma backfield. He wanted some versatility, and he was very excited with all of the guys' Oklahoma features. This is going to be an incredibly talented running back room, but the word versatility was something that we kept hearing. And then he talked about Eric Gray, and he said, Eric Gray might be our most versatile back of them all. That right there is high praise. This is a guy that is electric out the backfield, catching the ball as, as a, he is an electric 
back in general. It doesn't matter whether he's catching the ball, running the ball between the tackles. This is a guy that is special, and I cannot wait to see what he does within this Lincoln-Riley scheme because he is going to be put in an incredible position to succeed, and even outside of him. When you look at the stylistic differences this Oklahoma backfield possesses, it's going to give defense fits. You have thunder and lightning at multiple different duos within that Oklahoma running back room, and there's a lot of excitement there. But Eric Gray, a new face for the Sooners and a face that might be an incredibly important part of this offense because apparently at the scrimmage, he was making big big time plays and he has been a guy that is lauded apparently very smart picking up the system very quickly and he's a guy that apparently the first guy cannot bring him down cannot wait to see what Eric Gray does but finally the last guy I want to talk about and it's probably the guy that for those of you that have watched this video with a kind of a pre-inclination as to who has been succeeding in spring camp you've been waiting for me to mention and that is Mario Williams now, me being a big R.J. Young fan, before I had this channel, before I started this less than a year ago, I remember listening to R.J. Young maybe a bit over a year ago, maybe two years ago, and he was talking about Mario Williams and going on and on about how talented this young man was and how he was going to make an impact at the college level. Lo and behold, R.J. hit the nail on the head. This guy apparently is making major major waves in this Oklahoma receiving room. So much to a degree where apparently, according to that same article by Brandon Drum, not a day goes by where you don't hear the name Mario Williams, and even in the scrimmage, was very active in making plays. This is an Oklahoma wide receiver room that even though the production didn't match the talent last year, we all know what's up. We know that if this receiver room hits the talent and matches the talent with the production, it is going to be an incredible threat for all of college football. This is an incredibly talented receiving room, and it didn't change even because they had a transfer. The transfer opened up room for a guy like Mario Williams to come in and contribute year one, and that's exactly what it's sounding like is going to happen, along with a Caleb Williams, who apparently every day is being mentioned. He and Marvin Mims are just continued to make plays along with Trayshawn Bridges. I wouldn't be surprised at all if midway through next year we're looking at the stats for OU and we're looking at this freshman who's contributing massively to the Sooners. Everything they're talking about him is very positive. And a guy like him, you put in the slot, can create nightmares for a defense. Apparently, Trayshawn Bridges, phenomenal body control with high pointing of football. You pair that with Marvin Mims, Trayshawn Bridges, and the electric speed that Spencer Rattler says Mario Williams has. The Oklahoma Sooners have an incredibly talented wide receiving room, but we knew this before. It's just incredible that even though this room is that talented, that talented with guys such as Hasselwood, I'm sorry, Trayshawn Bridges, Marvin Mims, that now you have a true freshman in Mario Williams coming in and making as many waves as he is. This is a guy that might not be able to be denied, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see what he looks like in the spring game, and I can't wait to see him in live action. That's it. See ya. Thank you.